Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Temi and in this video I will be giving you guys an apartment tour. I wanted to quickly show you around. I want you to guess the city in the comments and how much you think I pay because we're going to talk about that at the end. So I will meet you back here after I've toured you around my apartment. We'll chat then. I guess we'll jump straight in. Walk in the front door. This is the front door and on my left you have the family bathroom and on my right you have the laundry room. We'll go in here first. You also have this like massive mirror, which I really like in here. And you've got like lots of storage along here for like all your toiletries and things like that. We've got a tub and a shower as well. Yeah, this is pretty much, pretty much it. We've got like a towel, towel roll there. Feels like very roomy and airy in here. And you can, you can obviously hear the echo as well. So we will have a look at the laundry now. Sorry if there is a slight flicker. In here we've just got like boiler stuff, just like laundry stuff in there. We've got a washer dryer and I've got some luggage here and some boxes that I need to keep when I want to eventually move. But as you can see, like it's quite a nice storage space and a lot bigger than other kind of apartments that I've seen of this size. I usually just have like, probably it's like half the size of this and having the boiler in here and the washing machine kind of makes most of it unusable. So I'm really, really happy with this kind of style storage room. I also got this idea from a YouTuber, Jenna, and it's basically just like storing your cleaning essentials and just like stuff you have too much of um, in here. So when I need to like clean the whole place, like I come here and just get all my stuff out and it stores it really nicely as opposed to having to like put it under your sink. So that is the laundry. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll head over here and I'll show you guys the first bedroom. This is the first bedroom. And as you can see, it's got a really nice view from that window. It is an okay size. It's not the biggest kind of room, but it's a really um, okay size. Double beds in the center. We got some nightstands and some lamps as well that came with the apartment. It was furnished when I got it. I am also like renting as well. So one thing I love about this apartment is that it's south facing. So you can kind of see a view there, but it's completely south facing which means that the living room, this bedroom and the primary bedroom get the sun for the majority of the day and I really really do feel the difference. Also because the windows are so um, big they're kind of like floor to ceiling so I never really have to turn on the heating like during the day. Even like now it's very very warm, it's very sunny today. One cool thing that I really like is this little switch in the corner that you can you can switch off the lights from here like you need to get, like, get out of bed. And one thing I also love about this room is actually like the wardrobe. A lot of wardrobes you get in like new builds. So this is kind of like a new build kind of property. A lot of the wardrobes you get are just like a rail and that's it. Whereas this one has like built in shelves. So you don't need to buy like a dresser from Ikea or anything like that. Like everything fits. Well, for me, everything fits in there and you've even got space at the top as well for like linens, towels, that kind of thing, extra bedding. Yeah, that's pretty much this one. I'm getting really hot now, so let's move on to the next room. So the next room I'm gonna show you, which is just next to that first bedroom that we just went inside, is like the, the main living space. Um, so I will take you around now. So as we walk into like the main living space, we have like a dining area in the center here. Um, we got table and chairs, which, which came with the flats. I've just put like a vase and some dried flowers that I took from my mom's birthday garland. Um, and we've got a couch, um, a coffee table, and a really tiny TV that I've been lugging around the country with me since my industrial placement year. <laughs> but it's a smart TV, so you can like watch Netflix and, and everything on YouTube on there. We've got this like feature chair here. We've got some cushions on this, this couch that I also got just from Ikea. And as we go down here, we've got like a really lovely view. This is the, it's a lower terrace. I've never really seen one before, but it's kind of a, a terrace down there and attached to that is kind of like a study space slash workspace. I've never seen anyone work there. And you've also got a view. I'll just turn around and I will show you what the whole room looks like from this corner of the room. 
So we'll go into the kitchen area now. This is the main kitchen area. As you can see, like it's very modern, very new build like, very sleek. We've also got like under cabinet lighting, which is so good. And we've also got like this, what do you call this? Like stage lights or like spotlights. I'm not quite sure, but I like that kind of lighting. It's having a place that's so well lit is just makes such a difference. This is an integrated fridge freezer. Okay, so the fridge is on top, freeze on bottom. Let's see what's in there. And uh, freeze it down here. Sink. They're usually stuff here, but yeah, I for these house tours, you, you have to try and make it look like no one lives here. So that's what I've done. <laughs> uh, we got some drawers here. I've just got my like utensils and things like that in there. These are very, very nice uh, cutlery pieces. This is probably just, this is like probably like a pound from Ikea. This thing, I've lugged that around for a few years in uni. And for my kitchen, I got like all brand new stuff because, you know, adult life and getting quality <laughs> over kind of just like cheap things that don't last you. So I've got my knives are Zwilling, I don't know what the brand is, Zwilling J.A. Henkels. I got them from TK Maxx, which is significantly cheaper than what they, they're worth. And instead of getting a block, I just got these knife sheaths, um, which are actually really expensive, but I literally only used four knives. So I have only got four knives and that's what I need. The cutlery is from Zwilling as well. And this knife is just so interesting. It sits like that. It's got like a weird handle. I don't know if you can you can tell, but yeah, it's got a weird handle and I like it. It's quite nice. And just some OXO kind of cooking stuff and wooden spoons and stuff. Here, I've literally just got a grease paper. Like I've got these, instead of having like a um, oven mitt, these are gloves. So you can use these for like pots and pan lids as well. And the other two are pretty much empty. Under here, just under sink stuff. That's literally just like, all the stuff I hid to make it look like I don't live here. Just like dishwasher tablets and some black bags that I used while moving here. This area is pretty much clear. I've got microwave, toaster, kettle. I've been lugging these two around with me since 2016 for uni. <laughs> Did you not, this kettle is actually five pound from Argos and I've been using it for five years. Like I don't see the need to replace it, so I'm not going to. Um, so they've stuck with me and my good friend Priscilla gave me this microwave. Got this, this is like a dish rack from Ikea, but I just use it for my lids. Okay, so. In here as well, I've got just some pots and pans and stuff like that. Um, I've tried to get, like I said, I, I said I wanted to get kind of like quality this time around, like moving out and stuff. So I've got some Le Creuset dishes. Um, I got from TK Maxx, you will see a trend here. Nested pans are from M&S. They're tri-ply, which means they don't have like a, a thick base on the bottom. And I've also got a, like a full, they call it a full size frying pan. And that's from Tramontina, which is a really good brand for tri-ply like cladded cookware. So yeah, got that, got that from Amazon and I got this thing here, which I advise every uni student to get. It, it pops out so you can steam stuff just like this, just on top of the pan. And then it pops out to be like a colander, which is pretty cool. I've got a pack of sieves there from Costco and they're also from Tramontina. Here we've got a really big dishwasher. It's like a family sized dishwasher. Up here we've got just dishes, mugs, like lunch containers and stuff. These dishes are Gordon Ramsay's um, Royal Dalton. Gordon Ramsay's like line. I don't, I think they just stuck his name on it. Dishes I really like. I got them from Cheshire Oaks, they're from Denby. I got like pasta bowls from there and also rice bowls. I also got these little dishes as well for just like, it's like cooking stuff. I just got two of that and they're two smaller ones for like sauces and stuff and they just look so nice when you're like eating. I got these glasses from TK Maxx and I really like them because they're very, very like thin. So they look very elegant and also, these can fit 500 mil inside and there's nothing I hate more than tiny cups that don't fit anything inside. In here, I've just got kind of like some food. And then all these cupboards all the way around are completely empty. Uh, and this cupboard down here just has some more food. So I've got some semolina there, some more like almond milk at the back, things like that, onions that stay in there. And this cupboard's super messy, but it's just like the tea cupboard, herb spice cupboard kind of thing. Got some kitchen roll, some oil. This actually is very good, especially if you're the kind of person that buys that massive jugs of oil. 
just dispensing some in here for like things like eggs it's just like it just makes sense you got like a ceramic hob here an oven as well and we've got under cabinet lights like i mentioned earlier i don't know i really like it you can kind of just choose whether you want all the lights or just the under one sometimes you, at night you just want a bit of light and they're great for that this pan here i like to keep it here because i use it so so much but this is um a non-stick pan by ballerini it's meant to be like the best brand for like non-stick cookware so i've just got one pan and i use it all the time i really do like it it's got like this circle here that turns red when it's ready to to like cook with and then it goes back green again when it's okay to like wash it because if you put cold water in it while it's still hot like the pan can warp yeah it's it's kind of built with it lasting in mind better than those like five pound wilco ones that you buy <laughs> and they don't last very long at all so it's very robust i love it this is the tramontina pan i mentioned earlier it's like huge so this one's i think every well, if you live alone you should have like a 10 inch and then a 12 inch but yeah it's super super nice and doesn't burn food it just cooks evenly which is what it should do got some plants here just to add some some life into the kitchen got my google home mini and yeah that's pretty much pretty much the living room and also the kitchen area so that is the kitchen area done so i'm going to show you guys my bedroom now it's the primary bedroom and i didn't mention it before i don't think but this this part is a two bed. If you guys have any questions on anything you've heard so far or that you will hear, just let me know in the comments. So I just wanted to show you quickly what the lighting looks like with no lighting. So what you just saw like a few seconds ago is with my big ring light, but this is the light without anything. There's daylight, but there's also like these lights here. And that's what I was saying, like the lighting in this place is so nice. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that quickly. So this is my room. The bed here, obviously in the center. We've got my keyboard in the corner, my bookcase, some other stuff on the floor there. As I said, same view as the, as the other rooms. And we've got sort of like a desk situation going on here, which has only been there for about a week. So I'm gonna share that with you guys at a later date. But I think I'll take you through kind of like the main ins and outs of my room now. Um, at the back, I've got this like little rainbow gold jacket hanger. I've got myself. We've got this like big full length mirror slash wardrobe. So the doors slide and you've got the same wardrobe as you saw in the other room. It's the exact same size. Laundry basket here and an ensuite in there, which I'll show you later. Actually, I'll show you now. This is the ensuite. The same kind of setup as the family bathroom in terms of the mirror and the storage over here. So I've got I've got a few I've got a few things going on in this corner here. So I've got like my hair basket. I've still got the tag on because I was trying to see if I liked it or not, and it's been two months. I've got my makeup and brushes here, and this is like my skincare. So half of it I use every day, half of it like once a week. Cotton buds, and these Korean, um, this Korean brand makes these cotton pads, which are very, very like paper thin, doesn't drink your products. So your products last you for ages. I've got this little mirror here. I did have the Ikea one before, but this base is just so much sturdier. I've also got this Brie diffuser by The White Company. This one's called Nourish and I kid you not, this thing smells so nice. It smells like a spa. Everyone that comes here says, what's that smell? Like it literally smells like a spa. It's that. And you know, you saw how far my desk was. Well, I'll show you in a sec. I can smell it from my desk if the bathroom doors open. This is my, my personal stash of natural hair products that I need. This bath mat is the nicest bath mat I've ever used, ever. It's from Costco. Uh, it's got memory foam in it and it's like anti-mold, anti kind of everything to make it hygienic for a bathroom. So this girl shows you like everything like BMI, like skeletal mass, shows you everything and like tells you if your body age is too high or too low, like what your body age actually is. So it's pretty neat and it connects to your phone so you can kind of track your progress over time as well. So back to the room now. So this is kind of what it looks like from the bathroom and I will just take you through what I see. I got this Ikea vase and dried flowers that I told you I took from my mom. 
mum's um, birthday garland that I made with my sister. I've got this um, Hugo Boss notebook here in the corner. I've got this little lamp, which is just so like nice and industrial looking. Um, I really like the style of it. It's from Ikea and so it's bulb. It's like a kind of a brown tinge. This is a mist that you can spray at bedtime. You can spray it on you and you can also spray it on your like sheets and stuff. And it's the same scent as the diffuse in the bathroom. And I love it so much. It's probably the only time I've been able to say that about any scent. Other scents do give me a headache. And we've got a bed. Just to like explain the scale of this room, this bed is like actually king size bed and I had no idea um, before I moved it. What I did actually is I, I took this tip from another YouTuber. <laughs> I will put her name in this video. When she just recommends that if you're renting to get a mattress topper, so I've got a topper in here, which doesn't look that thick, but I tell you, like it literally changes my sleep and my sister wants one now. She spent like a couple nights with me, she wants one. And it's from the White Company as well. And we've got some cushions. The cushion covers are both from H&M. And um, we've also got some pillows. I've got like some hard ones, firmer ones, and some ones that are like down. We've also got this like really, like plush. It's like very kind of a, a plush duvet and it's like a three in one. So I got that from John Lewis. Very, very nice. Feels like you're sleeping under a cloud. So we got the same nightstand or lamp as that side and we got a fake plant and my wireless charger. I uh, got my Bible there. Got my keyboard. There's some other stuff in the corner that I can't find a place for like straighteners, things like that. I've got some books, notebooks. Then we've got this desk area, which is very new to me too. So I thought I'd sit down after that little tour. I don't know how long it's going to be actually, but I thought I'd sit down and talk to you guys. So I don't know if you guys guessed it right, but the city is actually Liverpool. So in the northwest of England, it's a two bed flat. I currently have a flatmate, but she just hasn't moved in yet. The rent is 900 a month. So it's 450 for each of us, which is very, very, I wouldn't say cheap, but it's definitely a lot less than what you'd pay in a city that is more south. I'll be paying a lot more in London. Everything in here I've chosen myself and I've invested in. You'll probably look at the, the links down below and think, oh my gosh, wow, like that's quite expensive for certain things. A lot of these things are investments for me and I use the exact same rubbish stuff throughout my uni like life. And I found that like just little things like having knives that aren't sharp, like I never wanted to cook. Like the knives are just not a pain point anymore. I don't know, like having your own space, like it's such a nice thing. It's such a privilege. And I'm just so grateful to like God for getting me to like this stage of my life. I'm also really lucky in the fact that this, apartment is is furnished so the beds the mattresses i did not buy the table this this couch chairs even the tv stand i did not buy um so that's very very nice not having to worry about moving those things out i wanted to maybe start this series of just like giving you guys apartment tools just so you guys can see like what's out there that's not in london because or like in a major city it is a major city but not not like london or like Paris or New York or something like that. So if you guys enjoyed it, just do let me know because if not, I, I won't make another one. <laughs> I wanted to say as well, like, don't be afraid of having like a roommate as well because in this day and age, it's almost like this country does not want you to succeed <laughs> in terms of like buying a property or like moving out and stuff like that. Like people are staying at home longer. What do you guys think? Like, do you think it's more important to stay at home longer to give you kind of like a leg up when you leave or to leave and like struggle, struggle and find your way kind of thing? Like, what do you think like nowadays? For people that live in London, I feel like I know what your answer is gonna be, but try and think if you live outside of London, would you would you leave? And also like, there's the whole thing about mental health. Like I've been saying so many threads on Twitter where it's like people are having to like choose between being in debt or like having very little money and their mental health staying at home, like beyond a certain age because like their parents or whatever, like that is such an important choice to make. And I feel like it's a choice a lot of people have to like decide between, but what do you guys think? Do you think people should just like hack it? Or do you think there's that, that saying that where there's a will, there's a way, like if you put yourself in a position where you need to find money, you need to work, or you need to kind of just like step it up into kind of the financial department that it will happen because you need to. Like, what do you, what do you guys think? I will close out the video here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little apartment tour and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.